Well guys, we are ready to go to the show and you'll never guess who we're bringing. <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure. Kevin's tying it down extra tight cause she ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. And let's, uh, let's go to the show. We're at the show. We've just decided to take four, four to the show. So we've got three senior does. We've got Daphne, Reba, and River. Those are our three milkers. And then we brought Lance a lot. We decided to not bring any of the juniors because oh, all the, I'm gonna list them, all these races. Basically, it's really stressful on the juniors. They get sick easily. They're horrible in the ring. Your likelihood of winning anything is like super, super low. So I just thought, you know, I don't think I'm up for that this year. But these three ladies are ready to go. They're nice and filled up and I'm excited to see how they do today. This little guy will be an adventure. All right guys, we're at our favorite spot which is right next to the food truck. Chuck wagon. But they, didn't, they haven't started serving the breakfast burritos yet, so Kevin's pretty upset about it. It's a big deal over here. But we've got our girls all ready to go, and uh, it's gonna be kind of a long day of waiting, but that's what you do when you're at shows. Ready. All right guys, I'm gonna share something that I've been using that I love that has made a huge difference on my skin. So as you guys know, we live in basically the hottest place on earth, the sunniest place on earth. And I get asked a lot like, how are you so fair and live in like the sunniest place? Well, first my parents were really good about teaching us about staying out of the sun, wearing sunscreen when we were out all day, wearing hats. So I'm very conscious of that. But what I've noticed is that as I'm getting older, my skin has become a lot drier. And when that happens, it becomes more vulnerable to wrinkles and blemishes and aging. But really it's just about watching that sun damage and keeping your skin hydrated. So here's what I do. I've been using this device called UFO3 by Foreo Sweden. And it has all of these features in one, everything that you need to keep your skin looking nice. This is how it works. Basically what it is, is a deep facial hydration device. It has a bunch of different settings for red light therapy, cryotherapy, or thermal therapy. LED therapy is a very gentle and non-invasive way to rejuvenate and transform the skin. You can access eight different preset treatments, which are different combinations of LED light and temperatures with or without the T-Sonic massage. And this is all going to increase the hydration in your skin and reduce the inflammation. There are these little facial packs that you can buy. They have tons of different kinds. This is one of my favorites. It's called, that can come up, youth junkie. You'll put your little mask on there. So this is clinically proven to increase moisture on your skin by 126% in just about two minutes of using it. It can reduce the look of wrinkles in about a week and it's more effective than a sheet mask. Gotta do all I can <laughs> to see if I can get my skin to keep looking good for a long time. The UFO 3 by Foreo Sweden is rarely on discount, but it is right now. So if you wanna grab it, now is the best time to purchase it. You can get a 30% discount using my link, and the first 50 people are going to get an additional 10% off. They have quite a few different UFO activated masks to choose from, so depending on your current needs, you'll find the perfect mask just for you. Of all of them, definitely this one is my favorite with the collagen and the shea butter in it. I love that one. Or if you need a lot of hydration, you can use the hyaluronic acid one. I'm not really a person to get a facial or go to a spa, so I feel like this is a way for me to treat myself and make sure that my skin gets the extra care that it needs. So click the link in the description to get 30% off plus an additional 10% for the first 50 people. All right, guys, here we go. We're in ring one, and the first class is Rivers class, which is one-year-old senior does. So first the judge goes down, checks their teats, makes sure that they have two, only two, and then he has us walk around. Now this is really important because he wants to see what they look like, what we call on the move. 
Usually rumps will level out, their necks will lengthen. They just look a lot better when they're walking. So the judge has them walk around and then has them line up right in front of him so he can view their chest and view their udder or the width between their hocks. He'll go by twos and have us all walk forward a little bit. And this is when he's pretty much uh, picking his favorites. <laughs> it was a pretty easy selection this time. The competition was fierce at this show. There were two nationally placing herds, Wolva Van Ranch and Amore's farm. So it was, I knew it was gonna be a tough one. But in the end, River got fifth place out of eight which, you know, I wasn't sure River would do that well this year because as we know, she's kind of small for her age and she just had a singleton. So her udder is not gonna be a big wow factor, although it has all the right parts and she really just needs some time to grow. So that was how she did in that ring. Next up was Reba. This is class two, which is a two-year-old senior does. And oh my gosh, can I just say that I love Reba. She is so sweet. She lets me do anything to her and then she'll just keep her foot in that spot, which is so rare. <laughs> no goat does that. Every goat kind of fidgets a little bit. She doesn't. She just is like, oh, you want my foot there? Cool, I'll do that. So she is just a dream. Judge goes down, checks everybody, and we walk around the ring. Look how good she is being. She is just, she has a beautiful udder this year. She looks so great. So I had really high hopes. I thought she might do really well. We had also almost had evened out her udder from that ambitious buckling kid last year. So I was really excited to see how she did. So at this point, I thought Reba got fourth out of 10, which I was really happy with. But then he took a look a little bit longer at the first two play scenes, took a look at us and switched us. So Reba got bumped up to third. So she got third out of 10, which I'm really happy with. I love Reba. She is so dairy. She's so long. She has a really, really beautiful udder. And the fact that she was just really easy to work with, just she's a winner, man. She is a winner. She placed right behind the California herds that are winning at national levels. So I was really, really happy with that. All right, next up is Daphne. And Kevin's holding the camera lower because there was such a glare on it. This one I knew was gonna be a hard class. Daphne just, she has not been producing the milk this year that she did the previous year. I think partly it's due to the fact that she just had one buckling. She technically had two, but one of them was a little runt. So I think her body thought she just had, you know, a singleton. Or, and then she was kind of lethargic after the kidding this year, which I think it was like a very light case of milk fever. Anyway, she just didn't produce that much milk. And so I didn't really expect her to do a lot. I just wanted to bring her out, see how she did, you know, she's really pretty good in the ring and thought, you know, let's let's do it and see. So these are the three-year-old senior does. But she did end up getting sixth place out of 11. So not too bad, right in the middle. What I pretty much expected for this year. All right, now it's time to go to ring two, which is a different judge, different ring. And we start again with the one-year-old. So River's back in the ring. Pretty much have all the same goats in the ring too. We always sign up for the second ring because we want to see what the second judge thinks of our does. So we're walking around. Look how good River is being. She's such a good little girl. I, sh I just love her. She's such a sweet little doe. But as you can see, as they line up all of the goats here, you can see River's udder is just a little bit smaller. She's a little bit smaller in stature. Um, not as wide that will come over time for sure she's just such a nice well-balanced doe she's just a bit smaller the judge ended up lining them up and it's kind of funny she put them at this angle so you can't really see oh there i am right there so there were seven does in this ring and river got right in the middle about fourth so that was good so she's right in the middle she's well balanced she just needs some time to grow and now it's time for reba to come back in the ring she's being such a good girl and we walk around we line them up it's so funny because these goats are just, they're, <laughs> they're just always a little bit too short. Nigerians in general are a little bit too short because I'm 5'7". So it just, your neck starts to burn because you're just leaned over a little bit and you're, you have your hang, your arms kind of hanging down a little too hard, but it does make it easier when they're very well behaved. And I was really happy with how Reba did. She got third place again. So that's a really consistent placing for her. And I really like seeing that because it just makes me know, wow, I've got these two you know, national herds ahead of me. And then Reba is placed right behind. In fact, she was placed in front of a couple of their does as well. So it, it made me feel really good that she was placed in that position. 
And here's Daphne. Okay, so we've got the camera situated now. Judge goes down, checks everybody. I have to say, both judges were so nice really fun to work with making jokes and just being really enjoyable to be to be around so she just has us walk and you know Daphne was not feeling it at the end here she was like uh oh, lady I'm ready to go but she did a good job she, about the same as before she got one two three four five so she got fifth place in this ring about in the middle and I expected that she just didn't have quite the fill of an udder like she did in the previous year so we'll see how she does next year all right so we did okay, that was the first ring. Here's something you have to understand that I kind of didn't understand when I started showing. It's that everybody is bringing in their best goats. Okay, so imagine you have 20 goats that are all really high scoring, let me move this back, really high scoring on their linear appraisal, really high milking, uh, milk testing. So everybody's bringing their best and then the judge has to pick like number one out of all of them. So when you think about it, it's not that any of the goats further down are bad, it's just that the judge picked one that had like maybe a little bit higher udder or a tiny bit better teeth placement or yeah. a little bit uh, flatter back. So they're just like incremental differences and that's why sometimes the judges really sit and like hem and haw over it and switch the goats back and forth because it's hard to make that decision. So. Plus we have two national herds here at this show, so it's gonna be a tough one. That's okay, you know, we come to, mostly to like meet with everybody in the community and see everybody else's goats, so it's a good experience, but I don't think we're gonna come away <laughs> with any sort I of win. I think Reba should've got second. I do think she The goat's favorite part of the show. To get relieved from all this pressure and their other <laughs> And it's hard because there's a lot in there. But good job, Reba. I know, she did really good. I'm really proud of her. It's very windy today. What is on me right here? I thought it was tomato or tomato. Okay. <laughs> so guess who's here? A famous buck from Amore's farm. Now we purchased semen from this buck. We purchased his semen. And his name is Zazarak. He is a cutie patootie, as you can tell. He's got all the right parts to make all the right kinds of babies. And we're gonna breed him with Reba. So it seems kind of silly, because look how close they are. They're only like 15 feet from each other. But <laughs> we're still gonna do the seam in the AI, because obviously we can't breed her right now. There she is. Miss Reba gets to be bred to Zazarak over there. Do you want to breed right now? No. She's good. I love how the longer I'm at a show, <laughs> the crazier my <laughs> hair gets. But so now it's the junior show and um, we didn't bring any juniors. I'm actually really glad I didn't because it's it's really it's just so much work and the chances of them winning is just so low. And then they're, oh, it's just a lot. And it's a lot of stress on them. So, uh, so no juniors this time, but it's kind of fun to watch. It'll be fun to see. Kevin and I are gonna play a game. We're gonna see if we can predict which one the judge is going to choose. Okay, first up are the little bitty bitty babies that are so cute and little. Let's see if we know which one's gonna win. I say second one. Second one's a little wider. Uh -huh. Let's see. The first one though might have a little bit flatter back. It's so hard at this age. Kevin already ate his burger and he's on to a quesadilla. <laughs> So maybe we weren't exactly right about the first one, but the sec the second group will do better. Okay, we realized it's too hard. 
They all look really good, honestly, so they they're the all winners in our book. When I saw this huge class of junior does, I was so glad I did not bring mine just because look at this. Like, it is so hard for the judge to pick, you know, the one winner amid them all. Oh my gosh. They're all, they all look so great. And um, yeah, this would have been the class that my juniors would have been in. So I'm glad I didn't bring them. But it was fun to watch everybody else and see how their little does did. Here's the little bit bigger class. And here's the actual grand champion lineup. So these are the first place winners of every age group of those junior does, those little ones. So you've got a one-year-old, like a six-month-old, three-month-old, two-month-old, and one-month-old. That's about where it's at. And the winner was the first one. So that's my friend Renee from Mobile Van Ranch. Second place is Laz from Amore's Farm. So she was really excited to win. After a big long day, we finally have Mr. Lancelot's turn. Okay, pep talk. You can do it, you can do it. Come on, do it, do it. So now we're at the end of the day. We were so exhausted. At, like we had been there since seven in the morning, and it was it was like s almost seven at night right here. So we were pretty tired. It was just a really dry, dusty day. But Kevin was so excited to bring Mr. Lancelot out, and you guys, he did such a good job. We've done zero training with this boy. Like the only difference is that he's been bottle fed, so he's very, very lovey towards humans. But he can be a stinker too and whip his head around. Around, but he let him he was like yeah that's fine you can check my testicles they have to check to make sure that the anatomy is correct on bucks just the same as does so the judge checks all the bucks down the line and then kevin gets to work setting lancelot up so good luck they go walking around the ring and kevin's doing such a good job you know staying away from lancelot because you don't want the goat to like rub up against you the whole time otherwise the judge can't see them look how good he looks he is so sharp in his shoulders and oh he's he's beautiful so judge walks up and down checks everybody and you guys in the end you'll never believe what happened he picked lancelot as first out of eight bucks eight one-year-old bucks he got first place that was so cool you know takes after his dam his dam is a big show winner and i guess he is too at this point i wasn't sure i was like did you really get first place like i don't know it was tricky because the judge was still talking to everybody but he did he got first place well how does it feel to be first place it feels now so because he got first place as a one-year-old he got to go in the grand champion lineup so here we are in that lineup we've got lancelot the one-year-old two-year-old three-year-old and then is that a four-year-old or a five-year-old plus i'm not really exactly exactly sure i wasn't paying that close of attention but you basically have different ages the row behind are all the second place winners from those classes so in the front he has to choose from these four and pick a grand champion winner and you guys we had tough competition i mean look we have wolvavan zazarak right here who is owned by Amori's Farm, which we actually have a semen, but yeah, he's so phenomenal. And then we have Amori's other buck, Renee is showing him, who is also very amazing. So I did not think that our little yearling buck would win, and I was right. So Lancelot, you know, keeps his first place, but he didn't get grand champion or even reserve champion. It were the it was the two bucks in the middle here. All right, we're back from the show. We're recovering. It was only one day, but for us, yeah. that was it was just a really long day. But I'm excited how they did. Oh, yeah. Reba got right behind two big show, big herds, mm -hmm. and Lancelot. Yes. Got number one. Oh my gosh. So that was cool. Good for him. Yes. So are you glad we didn't bring babies? Yes, babies are the worst because you get sore back. Yeah, it would have been hard, but. We have a lot of really fun show videos from the past, so I'm gonna link to it right here in the middle of us. Okay. And you can go and watch that if you want. Okay. Until then, we'll see you next time.